NFL Week 16 Gambling Picks. Picks against the spread. Brought to you by Tunica, Mississippi, the South's premier sports gambling destination. They've got six incredible sports books down there. Go to tunicatravel.com to get more information. they got, let me see if I can list them, Samstown, Fitz Casino, Horseshoe, Gold Strike, Hollywood, First Jackpot. There we go. Nailed it. Nailed it. Tunicatravel.com has got more information on all of that, so go over and check that out. Uh, you can get more information on us over at winningcureseverything.com. we got picks, previews, our football picks contest uh, will be up on Wednesday morning. Um, Lee T. from, actually, Tunica. Won it last week. He uh, he got the tiebreaker. He went 8-2 and two last week. Uh, I went 3-2 and two last week. You went 4-1. and one. So seven and three. So if you took all of our picks, shooting seventy percent, it's not Six, bad. Sixty sixty one percent on the year. I think I am. No, no, no. You were you were at sixty. Don't be. Uh, it's like sixty extra. point like eight three. It's when I checked it Sunday. No, it's it's fifty nine point eight three. Oh yeah. <laughs> okay. So you're at sixty. You're at sixty percent. Sixty percent though, man. You're you're forty three twenty nine and three. I'm thirty seven thirty six and two. So you are still significantly better than I am. Yeah. Um, as always, leave your picks in the comments below, and we will call in, or you can send in a video or whatever you want to do. We will put you on the show. You can give us your picks. We've had or, one guy go undefeated. And, and then, then he never would respond to me. Then he ghosted us. Yeah, I don't know what that was all about. That's like, all right, why, why even put your picks? Well, but, I mean, if you don't want I mean, you know, hey, you want to put if you them don't out want, there? Yeah, if you want to put them out there and just don't want to come on, that's cool, too. Just yeah. toss them out. But... We need you to give us the lines. We need you to give us the place that you got the lines from. And that's all we need. That's and, and when I contact you, just hit me back up. All right? Easy enough. So leave your five gambling picks. You got to go undefeated. Because we did have a guy that, that went undefeated. But, like, I'm talking you got to go perfect. We had a guy last week that went 3-0-2. Ah no, that don't count. That don't count. Yeah, you can't, can't go 3-0-2. We no need a, We need 5-0. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let's jump in. You want to do game number one? Sure. All right, roll on, buddy. I'm going to Los Angeles. I'm riding with my Chargers, man. Minus four and a half against the Ravens. That line scared me to death. I think this Chargers team is rolling. I think they're going to be the best defense Lamar Jackson faces. I think they're going to bottle him up. I think they're going to make him turn the football over. I do not think the Ravens will be able to run on the Chargers. And the way they've been running on everybody else, and I think this Chargers offense is good. I think Philip Rivers is is one of the best quarterbacks in the NFL right now. I think there's a reason he's in the MVP candidate uh, uh, conversation. And I think if they can get Allen back, if they can get Melvin Gordon back, they're even that much more dangerous without those guys. I still like them. There is nobody on the Ravens team that can hang with Mike Williams. Mike Williams is a freak of an athlete, and he is coming into his own. Yeah, he he most certainly is. That's what I was telling you in the, uh, what was it, the recap or yep. whatever it was. Uh, Mike Williams looks unbelievable. Yes, sir. He's just unreal. Yes, sir. Uh, game number one for me, I'm taking the Green Bay Packers. I got them plus one at the Jets. This is sad. Sunday noon on Fox. I don't trust the Jets. I think Sam Darnold is going to pee himself a little bit in this ball game, and it's not because of the Packers' defense. I think Jamal Williams is going to be able to run the football. I think Aaron Rodgers is going to play. I know he's probable, um, but I like I like the Packers in this spot. Everybody's kind of counting them out now. Now, if Pack if Rodgers does not play, if he doesn't play, I, now then at that point you got Deshaun Kaiser. But the, I'm, I'm banking single, on... You got Deshaun Kaiser and Joe Philman. I mean, that's bad. That's bad. I'm banking on... Well, I think the reason that the line is where it is is because people think he might not play, right? No, I think Vegas knows if he's not going to play or not. Well, I'm going to roll with the Packers plus one. It's fine. And, and I may lose it. And I'm, I have lost I'm going to tell you this. And, and it doesn't matter. I do not care the outcome. Never. Never, ever, ever in the history of Tom Brady, Drew Brees, any of those guys where Aaron Rodgers is, everyone, he's the GOAT. He's the greatest father. Never, never in their lives have they ever, and I don't care how good the Jets have been, 
They've, they've made playoff games. They've won games. Never have either of those teams been a pick em or a dog against the Jets. That's true. Never. If Aaron Rodgers plays in this game, and right now it's a pick em, and he is a even money pick em against this Jets team, that is a black mark on his record, and he cannot erase it the rest of his life. I don't care the outcome. They might beat him by 30. It does not matter. Vegas believes that little in you. And I, I want, it's a, it's a far cry the, from the beginning of the season. I want the GOAT stuff to stop. It just needs to stop. What's game number two for you? Speaking of the GOAT, <laughs> let's just do this. Patriots are undefeated at home, and they are undefeated against the spread at home. When you come into Foxborough, they whip your butt. They whip your butt. Now they pushed the Chiefs game in some places, and they lost it depending on if you had the hook or not. I think they're going to whip the Bills' butts. I think they've lost two in a row. They were all on the road. Steelers game, mm, got a little bit of a red ass about that one. I think they are going to be able to figure out how to, A, make the Bills turn the ball, ball over a lot. But the Bills can't stop, score a lot anyway. Stop this, defense, stop this offense. And and I I absolutely believe that one. What, Sir, uh, what's Sir your Thomas number? Brady. I got him at 13. So Patriots minus 13. That That went up. Because I think it opened to 12, didn't it? It probably did. That's fine. Um, There's no number that that realistically it would get to that I wouldn't take the Pats. Game number two for me, I've I've got the Texans at the Eagles. I'm taking the Eagles minus one and a half. Don't you bet against Sir Nick Foles. Oh, absolutely not. One Nick Foles. I'm on the Foles train, man. That is is not smart. I'm on the Foles train. Texans winless in their history against the Eagles. Going to Philadelphia. Philly fighting for a playoff spot. Uh, I mean, I, I like this Eagles team right now. They they seem to be rallying around this guy. They're playing with confidence. They're getting to go back home after a huge win. Sunday noon on CBS, and it's a noon game. Not, not one of like, my gambling picks, but I will have money on the Eagles this weekend. I'm yeah. with you. Look, fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice. Shame on you, whatever. However, it says, fool me seven damn times. <laughs> I've bet against this man and lost. And lost every last time. year and, and last week. I'm not doing it anymore. The rest, the rest of my life. You you gonna bet on him this week and it's gonna cost me. It might. It <laughs> might. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for you. <laughs> All right, but yeah, the Eagles minus one and a half. I like them in this spot. They're playing better. They're playing confidently. Uh Texans. I, I still don't like this team. Like I know that they got a good defense. I got that. Deshaun Watson is is great and wonderful, but Listen, but even he's been spotty. The Jets defense got to Watson over and over and over again. And the Eagles are going to be able to do the same. The Eagles, thing. the Eagles front is nasty. Yeah. Listen, Cox and Bennett still grown ass dudes. Oh yeah, Those big boys. And they don't play. I like that bet. I'm going to have money that way. It's just not one of my picks. My next pick, I'm going to Seattle. Game number three. Kansas City Chiefs going to Seattle off a big loss Thursday night. Seattle coming off a big loss against a bad team. Yeah. I think Russell Wilson gets it going. I don't think the Chiefs can stop anybody. I think Russell Wilson will have his best game of the year, will put up massive monster numbers, and all he needs is for his defense, which is very good, very good defense to make one or two stops. And I think they can make one or two stops. A pick, a fumble, some type of turnover, or just cause them to punt. What uh, what number you got them? I got the Seahawks plus three. Plus three? Okay. So this afternoon it was a uh, Chiefs plus two, or a minus two and a half. Yeah, it's it's three right now. My book is where I pulled my number from. Okay. I did it right before we went on air. Gotcha. Man, people still putting money on the Chiefs. That's nuts. All right, game number three for me. The Chicago Bears traveling out to the Bay, traveling out to Silicon Valley to face the 49ers. Bears only a four-point favorite. It's Sunday, 3.05 p.m. on Fox. I like Chicago in this spot. They are still playing for something. This defense is nasty. Nick Mullins, like I, I don't know what happened to Seattle last week. Update your life insurance policy. Yeah, I believe that. Nick Mullins, don't get yourself hurt. Like, just just give it up. Just throw the ball away. Don't go out there and get yourself killed because Khalil Mack is coming for you. 
Roquan Smith, he's coming for you. All them dudes, they coming for you. Those are my guys. Eddie Jackson. Is Eddie Jackson okay? Eddie Jackson's fine. He picked that ball off and he fell down like an old man. I don't know what the hell happened there. <laughs> he'll be fine. I've fallen like that before. He'll, he'll be fine. He's Going playing. out to the mailbox. Coming up with him. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, I like the Bears here. I, look, they're, they're favored on the road. It's a weird spot for them. Uh, but I still I don't have a whole lot of faith in the 49ers to do this week in and week out. Uh, I think this is a big spot for them. Uh, I think the Bears get it done. Minus four, that's not enough points. Love that pick. All right. Miami Dolphins, really bad road team. Don't know that they've won a game on the road. Don't know that they've covered a game on the road all year. Exceptionally good home team. They've won and covered almost all their home games. Don't know they've lost a game at home. Don't know that they haven't covered a game. No, I haven't done the research. I'm not going to pretend I have. (laughs) I know this. They're laying four points against Jacksonville Jaguars and Cody Kessler at home. I think they're going to beat the hell out of the Jags. I uh, This Jags defense does not scare me. They don't well, scare I, I anybody. Got, I got a little scared away from this line because it looked fishy. Nope. And I know we're talking about Dolphins here, so fishy was yeah. kind of a poor choice of words. Kind of but, a, like, kind of a pun you name. know, the, the line stinks. You know Co- what I'm saying? You know, you know what stinks? Cody Kessler. It, well, Cody, just, Cody Kessler stinks. The Jags, period. The Jags, period, stink. That team's bad. That's a bad team. Dolphins going to beat their ass. All right, all right. Uh, game number four for me, I got the Rams at the Cardinals. You're going to think I'm crazy. You're going to take all them points? I'm going to take all them points. 14, 14 and a half. And a half. Look, us a lot of points. Sunday, it's 3.05 p.m. on Fox. I, the Cardinals, I have said this before, I, the Cardinals are awful. Steve Wilkes probably going to get fired at the end of his first year. But... 14 and a half right now. I think Josh Home Rosen ball. can do a little bit is here. Is Rosen even going to play? I have no idea. Mm. Who, who cares? It doesn't, it doesn't matter who it is. I, all I need is to lose by less than two touchdowns. You need golf to look like golf. And that's, that's what I'm looking at, right? And not like Sean McVay. Yeah. And it's like, I don't know what's going on with the Rams, but until they get it turned around, I'm a bet against them. Hey, let me tell you what's not good about the Rams. That all-world defense that they went all in on, <laughs> that, that defense is not good. No. no it, people it, people listen, figured out a way to scheme I, around I, Aaron I, Donald. I don't, don't get me wrong. I think Aaron Donald is a freak. I love, love, love great, powerful, abusive defensive line play. Anybody who's trying to convince me that Aaron Donald is better than Khalil Mack, you just need to stop talking Hey, right now. I heard somebody talking about... Aaron Donald for the MVP? No, Aaron Donald. I heard no, that no, multiple no, times. No, 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 no. I, I heard somebody say... And I love say, Donald. Uh, ...that they saw Aaron Donald at the uh, at the Super Bowl, like on Media Row last year, and that Aaron Donald is like 5'11". No, no, he's bigger than that. He's bigger oh, than that. Oh, they, they were he got to be bigger than that. Uh, he's bigger than that. Nah. <laughs> He's bigger than that. Either way. All right, what, hey, uh, look, what Aaron got? Donald's a beast. Oh, no, he he's absolutely a beast. a beast, but he can be schemed around. The rest of that defense, they all big names. And they got nice contracts. But there's a reason why they were all free agents. That's right. They're not, they're not great. No. My last game, I just can't help myself. Give me the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Oh, my God. Plus seven and a half against the Dallas Cowboys. Is <laughs> this think, in Dallas? It's in Dallas. I, listen. I know. <laughs> You're trying know. to mess with some of our uh, viewers, aren't you? Right That's now, what it's, it is. Yeah, right now people... it's just a troll job. But <laughs> but I made a, I made a lot of money betting against Cowboys. I really have. Yeah. Like the last couple of weeks weren't good up until this week, but that don't that don't matter from all the weeks beforehand. So you look at all 16 games they played. Well, even even the games done, that they won, they didn't cover. They didn't every... cover all of them. Yeah. No, no. It's been a good bet. More than a touchdown. I got to rely on Jameis Winston. But, look, they played hard. They fought hard against the Ravens' defense. I think I think they're going to fight. I think they're going to try to keep this thing close. I think they can. I, I mean, I could I could see it. I get more than a touchdown against a team that I don't think is elite. I mean, that makes sense. Give the me Bucks the, are still fighting for, for Dirk Cutter's job, I That's think. right. No, I, I, I mean, they tried hard last week. Yeah. No, you're right. And I think the Ravens have a better defense than Dallas. I mean, I did. 
just a guess. Passing defense, anyway. I might be wrong about that. I don't know. I don't know. That might be about even. Either way, yeah, Cowboys fans, don't get on here hating on me. Get I, on, look. Hate on him. I, I'm just saying. I think I think the Ravens and y'all might be hey, about the same. Look, you're gonna you're gonna win the division. Y'all got the same the, record. Hang on. And then and then you're gonna sign Dak to a nine figure deal. And you're gonna <laughs> extend Jason Garrett. And you're gonna be happy and I'm gonna be happy. And yeah. it's gonna be great. Is it, we we got the logo on our on our thing, so it's even blocking. I'm wearing my Christmas shirt. Christmas came early when the Cowboys won all them games. Yeah. Because what's it going to equal? Nothing. It's going to equal nine figures for Dak. It's going to equal an extension for Garrett. And my life is great for the next five, six years. My last game, taking the Bengals. Plus seven and a half at the Browns. Sunday, 12 p.m. on CBS. The Browns hadn't been a seven-point favorite in two decades. I'm, well, since, I don't think it's been that long. Man, but, since uh, Belichick, maybe? I mean, it's been a long, I mean, at least four, five, six, seven years, something like that. No, I don't know. I don't know that they've done it since they've gotten their team back. It's been a long, long time. There's more the than Bengals, a touchdown. The Bengals can run the football. They are still fighting. They Look, Jeff Driscoll, he's not bad. He's pretty serviceable. His numbers are good. This is Hugh Jackson revenge game. This is That's what this is. The revenge of Hugh. Uh, and I just, like, while I love Baker Mayfield, I love all this. I don't know what the Browns are going to be able to do in the favorite slot. The the right the right betting play because I'm always looking for dogs to bet on, and and the two dogs that I was like I got you got to pick are are the Bengals and the Cardinals. Yeah, and I was like, screw that, I can't do that. Like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> and I could be completely wrong. I'm on not both betting of these. against this Browns team because this is the first time it's been fun in a long time. Oh yeah, they might lose this game straight out. But this is the first time they've been fun, and so I don't need the money that bad. I don't I know that they'll job. lose it straight out. You, I could, I could you see need the, Browns. the wins, and that's probably the right play. I, I could see the Browns winning by a touchdown. I could see the that's Browns right. winning by a field goal. That's right. Like, you know. You and, see them winning by a touchdown and missing the extra point uh, to, uh, the extra point because that's just what they do. And so they, yeah. they don't even win by seven. Yeah. I mean, there's all sorts of stuff. But I got the seven and a half. I got the hook, and I felt good about that. I, I'm going to take the Bengals. All right, uh, you want to do a recap real quick? Yep. All right, go ahead. I got the Chargers minus four and a half. Got the Pats minus 13. I got the Seahawks plus three. I got the Dolphins minus four. And I got the Tampa Bay Buccaneers minus plus, sorry, seven and a half. I got the Packers plus one. I got the Eagles minus one and a half. Bears minus four. The Cardinals plus 14 and a half. And I got the Bengals plus seven and a half. That is our NFL Week 16 gambling picks. Remember, go over and put your money, or not your money, put your information in for the football picks contest. You can win some cool Tunica prizes. It's brought to you by TunicaTravel.com, Tunica, Mississippi, South Premier Sports Gambling Destination. You can find more information on us over at winningcureseverything.com.